Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing how we recommend using insights for your regular revenue management review. Um, so there's quite a few different ways to use insights as I'm sure you've already learned. But when you first jump into insights, uh, you're seeing overall stats for the next 12 months. Uh, you can use this drop down to add custom date ranges, look at the next three months, whatever you like, and that's going to showcase every reservation that's on the books for forward looking dates um, for your property. Uh, or properties, depending on the dates that you choose. So that's showcasing everything that's ever come in for future dates, any bookings and reservations that have been made. But for a regular revenue management review, what we recommend doing is sitting down on the same day every single week, roughly around the same time, and pulling this pickup report, is what we like to call it, to be able to see what has come in, what has been booked for your listings uh, since the last time you made changes or did this review. So this is a really healthy practice, and this is what we recommend starting your review process with, just to see how overall did my listings pick up, how much revenue, where did these bookings come in, and using that information to dictate forward-looking changes um, for your strategy and for each of your listings. So in order to... Um, filter some of this data down on the Insights dashboard. We want to use our filters over here in the upper right hand corner. If you click on this, this menu here will pop out with quite a few different filters. There's a ton to use, but what we want to focus on today is this booked at filter. So when I enter a date range here, what's going to happen is the only data that will show on Insights will be data for reservations that have come in that have been booked at between these uh, two dates that we input. So today's a Wednesday, June 5th. I'm going to go ahead and pull back our booked at date range seven days to last Wednesday, which was May 29th, all the way to today, June 5th. I'll hit apply, and then you see our um, uh, data on the dashboard automatically change. So everything here is only showcasing what bookings have been made for the past seven days compared to prior years for that same date range. So right off the bat, I can see I have picked up about $125,000 in total revenue in the past seven days. As a revenue manager, I'm going to know, is that number more than what I expected? Is it less than what I expected? That's really your first indication of something going right, something going wrong, something needing attention, or if things are just on track. You can also take a look at all of our high-level metrics here, again, compared to um, the same dates back in 2023 or one year ago. If I look at total revenue, this is really going to give me um, a more detailed view of that pickup. So if I just start by looking at this year, what this is showing is for June of this year, in the past seven days, we've booked uh, about $58,000 in total revenue for stay dates happening in June. For July, that's 38000 so on and so forth um, for the foreseeable future for the next 365 days. If I pull in same time last year, which is auto pulled in here, what this is looking at um, is data for 2023. So if I pulled this same report the past seven days from May 29th to June 5th in 2023, what I picked up that week was actually $37,000 for the month of June and $46,000 for the month of July. So this is showing you, are you on track? Are you off track compared to what you picked up last year? This is almost a combination of a pickup and a pace report to again showcase, okay, right now it seems like this year you're picking up a bit more last minute. We're already in the month of June and we're seeing still a lot of good revenue pickup. Whereas last year at this point in June, we were actually already picking up more revenue for July next month. Um, so really good comparisons here. I can read, you know, for the fall, heading into the fall, August and September, I'm picking up a little bit better than last year. Far, farther in advance, it's a little harder to tell. But for things like all uh, the way out in December and February, I'd want to investigate and see which listings got booking here. Was this maybe for a holiday? Um, you can use any of our different drop downs here to help explain some of that. So here's sort of a day-to-day -day breakdown where you can even see some popular weekends maybe last year that were picking up better than they were last year. Maybe this is due to an event. And then you can see that December pickup was over, you know, right at the end of the year, right around Christmas. So lots of good detail um, and rich information in here. Again, just to focus your revenue management eye on things that need attention across your portfolio, especially week over week. We encourage you to build this practice into your business. It's really, really important to understand what does healthy pickup look like week to week and how you can action it as a revenue manager. So from here, you'd want to use lens view, clicking on this to dive deeper into individual properties that might need base price changes, maybe overrides in the short term. Maybe you want to look at pricing for these two weekends and make sure you're not priced too high this year. We still have a couple weeks to go ahead and update our strategy there. So this is where I would focus a lot of my time. 
And if I go back to our monthly view, really for my revenue management strategy, I just want to focus on uh, available dates now in June, all the way through September, um, if that. I mean, I'm not too worried about uh, September and August because we're picking up better than we were last year by a little bit. Um, and even the same time last year, we weren't picking up much week to week. So I'm really mostly focused on like the next 30 to 60 days here. Um, but this uh, chart is really going to show you um, anywhere where you can draw attention to, uh, again, that, that pick up for the past seven days. So try to build this into your regular revenue management routine. Again, everything still applies for occupancy, ADR, all that good stuff for you to spot trends, but start with your high level metrics here and keeping an eye on total revenue week to week, and then, um, drilling deep into total revenue, um, just by, uh, by stay date here per month.